He's the boy from Budgeroy, now a star for Lusk in Austria. 16 times Socceroo James Holland is on his winter break and back in town. It's funny, I was having this conversation with a friend of mine the other day. In, in Austria, if I walk outside, you're generally going to get recognised. In Australia, nobody knows me. Which is, yeah, it's a bit strange in your own country, but at the same time, it literally feels like a holiday. What is it about this place that you think made you the person and the footballer that you've been able to become? I think um, growing up in a difficult circumstance made me 100%. Growing up with a single mum, not having too much money, it gave me that drive. It taught me that I had to work hard. I was lucky enough to have a few people in my life, like Oli Bazanic and Andrew Redbane, and we were in the same age, and we kind of were also pushing each other in a healthy way. And that shaped me and gave me that hunger to say, OK, I, I want to get out of this and I want to kind of bring my family with me. That was something that drove me from a really young age. I mean, Ollie and I would get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, we'd train by ourselves, go to school, we'd, we'd catch the train down to Sydney or drive down to Sydney, and we'd get home, we'd train and get home at 11 p.m. at night, and that was for us a normal day, and that was, we understood to, to make it, we needed to do that. When I was eight years old, I came home and I said to my mum, oh, you know, mum, I'm going to buy you a house and I'm going to play for Australia. And that was just something I had in my head. And I still distinctly remember when I finally bought it, I was over in Holland and, I, and my mum sent me a message and said, uh, congratulations on your first, your first house. And I, my response was, congratulations on our first house. And obviously, growing up in the circumstances we grew up in, knowing that life wasn't always easy for my mum, that was a really special feeling to be able to send that to her. Your mum sadly passed recently, so how difficult has that been for you to go through? Definitely the hardest thing I've ever gone through. Still feels like yesterday. I don't think you ever, you get used to, used to living with it, it's, but it's never something that goes away. Given how special my mum was, was to me and how important she was to, to my sisters and I, it wasn't an easy period. Scoring goals in the Europa League, surely you look back on that with a fair bit of fondness. 100%. Growing up in Australia, it's something you dream of as a kid, whether it's Champions League, Europa League. Um, and to get that opportunity just to play um, is amazing. I'm not known for my goal scoring, uh, so uh, it's always special to get a goal. And for some reason, I was lucky enough to, uh, and I have been lucky enough to, to score a goal in, in those kind of competitions. But do you know much about it? Oh, mate. But do I ever know much about my goals? <laughs> Off the hip, I think I was. So I feel like I've done quite well over the last four and a half years probably the best period I've had as a footballer. As I said, football's a game of opinion, so um, the coach, Arnie, made the decisions yeah, over that time what, based on what he thought was best for the national team. As a player, you've got to accept that. You know, I think uh, I had this discussion with the, my Austrian teammates as well. Australia, playing for the national team and that camaraderie that we have in the national team, they don't have that, uh, which kind of reiterated and, and confirmed to me how cool that is and how special that is, and also gives me that desire to, to keep working to, to, get, to get back there. Thank you.